Hey everyone, it's Sangot, aka Zero. Today is the official release of Borderlands 3. Um, I did get this game last night, as you can see, I've already got a character that I've been that I was playing last night as Flack the Beastmaster. Um, but I am going to be doing a video series um, with a different character, just because a lot of like the voices and stuff uh, are going to change. So let's jump into normal. Um, I might have friends come in and join me, but I will have it set to uh, cooperative so we're not having to fight over loot. So you want to hear a story, huh? A tale of adventure across the stars. <laughs> come listen to old Marcus. Have I got a story for you? My tale begins here, on this backwater planet called Pandora. Some say it is a wasteland of greed and violence, and it is. But if you've got skills to pay the bills, <laughs> Pandora is full of opportunity. Vault Hunters. They brave the merciless borderlands in search of secret alien treasure. My father told me tales of vault hunting when I was but a little Marcus boy. And now, I tell you. So, you ask, what treasures do the vaults hide? Fame? Wealth? Power? <laughs> or maybe nonsense like charity or family. I don't know, use your imagination. Whatever the price, a Vault Hunter must have the determination to seize victory from the jealous hands of fate. Now, my story is about a very special band of Vault Hunters who have only just started their journey. They are bold and hungry. Maybe old Marcus tells you this story because they remind me of you. Just a little, don't let it go to your head. These new Vault Hunters are answering a siren's call. Her name is Lilith, and she is a hero, savior of Pandora a dozen times over. Lilith is recruiting a team to hunt for a map. A map that leads to vaults all over the galaxy. But she is not the only one. Dark forces have gripped the borderlands. A new threat, unlike anything the galaxy has seen before! My story begins right here on Pandora, with our new Vault Hunters, their Siren Leader, and, most importantly, me!
it's a beautiful day, full of opportunity. So, who's coming? So, I'm actually going to be playing Zane, uh, just because I kind of like Zane's style. Um, I might play Amara or Mo uh, Moe's with some other friends, but I will be playing Zane for this one. New Vault Hunter, huh? Name's Marcus. You picked a hell of a time to join the Crimson Raiders. <laughs> Good to see someone survive the attack. I'm Lilith, commander of the Crimson Raiders. Those bandits you fought are part of a cult hunting for the Vault Map. You and I are gonna find it first. For now, my scout is waiting for you up ahead. Good luck. Lady in my head. Goddess. This is your stop, Vault Hunter. No time? Let's have some fun! Try to stay alive. I'd hate to lose a new customer. <laughs> That's kind of the reason I wanted to play Zane, just because he is, uh, very funny. And welcome to Pandora! Hey, you must be the new recruit! I am a CL4PTP steward bot, but you can just call me General Claptrap of the Crimson Raiders! What's your name? Zane. Zane Flint. Thanks. I'll pre-order your tombstone just in case. Now, those jerks who tried to murder you are the children of the vault, a bandit cult who followed their creepy leaders with blind devotion. Which reminds me, if you're going to obey my every beck and call, you'll need an echo device. The Echo 3. Slightly more powerful than the Echo 2, and twice as expensive. Besides, the Echo 2 had a tiny issue with spontaneous combustion, so they rebranded those as grenades. Huh. Good enough. Now listen up, recruit. Lilith ordered us to take over a Children of the Vault propaganda center. Time to show those culty weirdos that no one messes with the Crimson Raiders. Follow me, recruit, to glory! Okay. Oh, he's got like a claw thing. That's cool. Before we wreak our righteous vengeance, you'll need to register your echo at this quick change. Once we defeat the cult, I'll be famous. And when I'm signing autographs, I need you looking sharp while defending me from my legions of fan slash stalkers. So, yeah, I... You um... are awfully attractive. So, uh, as you can see, like, I've got some certain things, like the VIP status, uh, the outfit I'm using right now in the head. Uh, those are actually all you things you can get from the v becoming a VIP on uh, Borderlines.com. And, I mean, it'll give you, uh, you can unlock certain outfits for every character if you want. Um, little bits of stuff here and there. The propaganda center is this way. And I mean, it's not like a major thing to get. It's just, just if you want it. No, this can't be happening. The entire mission is ruined. Think, claptrap. You're brave and powerful. People always do what you tell them to. That's it. Recruit, get that gate open. That's an order from your superior officer. Oh, it's got a the vault symbol on it too. Ah, I did not know there, that was up there already. Jump, recruit! The propaganda center is up ahead. Those cultists have been killing Crimson Raiders left and right. They totally suck skag balls. But I've got a foolproof plan to kick their culty asses. I hit a weapons cache nearby. Stay quiet and follow my every move. It's stealth time! Too 
Oh, Clyde Trap. Perfect. Once we complete our mission, we'll have passed the promote me to Super General. Stand back! Great. I'm sure there's some people on the moon who didn't hear that. Relax. On Pandora, it's actually super weird if something's not exploding. Now take your gun, recruit. You're gonna need it. These guns, like myself, aren't beholden to their primary function. I can dance and sing. And some guns now include an alternate shooting mode. Try it out. Yeah, this one actually is one of them that does. I can do pistol or I can switch it over to a zip rocket. Just doing a quick little run around. Finding money. Apparently I found money in a, to in a toilet, which... If you haven't played Borderlands, that's honestly something that you get used to very, very quickly. Interesting. Thank you. 
Yeah, that was my bad. I literally... Yeah, that was my bad. I really shouldn't... I thought there was, like, more guys coming after that one, so I was gonna try to, like, punch it. I only lost 12 bucks. I can grab more of that. Thank you for the follow. He brought a knife to a gunfight. That'll be easy. Oh, I tried to. I was gonna try to like jump under that. So it's all about like how things told. I'll take that. My kind of maniac. Oh, he's such a nice. Score one for the Crimson Raiders. You and Claptrap secure the area. I'm on my way. Uh, so yeah, I actually am loving this game. I actually have to admit, I do love it a little bit more than the first one or the first three, technically, I guess you could say. Um, just because. The way I feel it goes is it's gotten a lot more... It's a little bit more understanding on how they're playing it. Plus, they've kind of fixed a lot of the things that there was issues of. But... Uh, like I said, it's still going to be one of those things I'm going to have to like, learn as I go through all of them. But it's... Right now, it's still an amazingly good game. There we go. There we go. Recruit, are you dead? If not, get me down! The controls are on the second floor! But I also like the fact that all of the characters um, have like their own like uniqueness to them now. Whereas, when you played through the first one, it was... It felt like the DLC characters had more... Like, unique... They were more unique than this one. Um, if you actually want to, uh, if you ever get the game, let the me know. Get off your interior posterior. And I will be happy to sit there the and floor. actually... Uh play with you on this because I can play through it like any with as many times as I want with any uh, with players and I can set it to where we each get our own loot 
So I could be playing with this character or on my main one, and stuff will be at your level, and stuff is at my level. So it's an easy switch. You hit the ground pretty hard. Looks like you could use a pick me up. Wow! I did it! I single handedly took on the COV and sent them packing. Now all that's left is to signal Lilith that the mission is complete. destroyed every other Crimson Raider stronghold, so this will have to do for now. So what's your name, killer? I'm Zane, and you're the lady from my brain. <laughs> yeah, about that. Not the weirdest thing you're gonna see on Pandora. But seriously, thanks for answering my call. We might not have the numbers, but with a badass like you, we've got a fighting chance. Welcome to the Crimson Raiders. Pandora's a dangerous place. That grenade mod will come in handy. You should equip it before we get started. Let me know when you're ready. Sorry, the reason I'm like kind of snickering is... I love... Like, I was a toss-up between playing Zane or if I wanted to play, uh... Flak first. But I'm glad I'm doing Flak as a, uh... As the one for, uh videos because he is hilarious and I love it. A little extra boom never hurt anyone. Except me targets. Alright. And I, I love his Scottish accent. Hey, do you hear bloodthirsty screaming? More COV. Let's see what you got, recruit. There's too many of them! We're doomed! Doomed! It's the firehawk! I was mad! The God this. Queen wants her head! I'm gonna live forever! Don't stop me anymore! Fall through wings! Nice fighting, killer. Got a foothold. Maybe things are turning our way. Come on, killer, you're with me. Let me catch you up. A while back, we found a map led to vaults all over the borderlands. Dream come true, right? I didn't realize how big of a target it would make us. We got attacked, and the map was lost. I've been looking for it ever since. This way. I was so focused on finding the map, I didn't notice that Pandora was changing. The bandit clans used to just murder each other for fun. Now, they're all under one banner. A cult. The children of the vault. Right. Come on, let's take a look around. Their leaders are the Calypso Twins, and their followers worship them like gods. They're convinced the map will lead them to something called the Great Vault, and they've been slaughtering anyone who gets in their way. We heard a rumor that a bandit clan found an alien artifact in the desert. It could be the map. That's what we're here to find out. Locked. <laughs> Not gonna keep a siren out, though. I'll stand guard! Perfect. Okay. here.
to beat them to the Sun Smashers. <laughs> I'll open the gate. Come on, this way. I mean, I've heard rumors that they will be doing a cross-platform. Um, I just don't know, or at least some games will be cross-platform. I don't know if this one will be one. I still have not found a sniper rifle when I was playing through as the Beastmaster, and I'm kind of bummed about it because I really want a sniper rifle. I mean, the gun I got right, like right now is actually pretty decent. It's like a shotgun that doesn't shoot, or a shotgun that's a got a spread shot. Find some intel on the Calypsos. Like close Find range. Find the Sun Smasher War Chief and do whatever it takes to get that map. Seems like you guys got this. Good luck. I'm gonna. So what are we working with here? Well, this place kind of sucks, but that's all we got at the moment. It's not the first time the Raiders have had to start from scratch. It's no sanctuary. Hope Ellie gets that ship working soon. New treads, new look, new me. Hey, the Getcher Ride, which is offline right now. So the cool thing is you kind of find like missions around uh, like Pandora and stuff and it'll just be like you can either accept it or decline it. Ah, how am I supposed to profit off this war torn? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sell premium weapons to heroic vault hunters such as yourself. Let's fix my vending machine. And by that I mean you fix it. Damn psychos, always scavenging to make their buzz axes and meat bicycles. You'll need to replace that circuit with something. Hmm. You know, some skags are chock full of electricity. Get me one of their spines. Better get used to doing things like this if you want to survive on Pandora. <laughs> oh, and if you're feeling extra gruesome, you could also try getting a human spine from one of those filthy bandits. That could work. Hmm, do I want to go for a human or do I want to go for a skag? Oh, well, I guess I'm doing skags because I got skags all over.
And be quick about it. All right, so I've unlocked the second skill point, so I can go for a new ability. Um, let's see, passes. Whenever one of his hands actions done damage, increase my magazine size, or. We'll go with that one for now. There we go. I'd like to know who I'm working with. What made you decide to be a vault hunter? Oh, I made my money doing dirty work for every rich arsehole this end of the galaxy. Figured it was safer to quit before one of them decided to pay me with a bullet. So vault hunting's my retirement, I guess. <laughs> Vaults attract all kinds. Just remember, the power inside them is hard to resist. It's up to us to make sure it doesn't end up in the wrong hands. Ow. Trust me, you've seen it happen. King of the castle! Injunct! I was made for this! Look at that, the maggot.
I do like that whenever you kill someone, uh, like their body like kind of explodes a bit. all over the place. Be right there. Someone help me! That would be you! Hello! Somebody help me! I would prefer not to die! Vaughn and his mighty tidy whities uh, If you don't remember, I love Vaughn from when I did Commander Lola. Once the third CP actually does yell every 15 seconds. to meet you. Hey, thanks. If you hadn't come along, I might be dead. So, what are you doing here? I'm working with the Crimson Raiders. Lilla sent me to find some nonsense. I assume there's a reward. You're with the Firehawk? Oh man, I used to run with Lilith back in the day. But, you know, now I'm a bandit war chief. <laughs> Go Sun Smashers. I mean, at least I used to be a war chief. 
until, you know, my clan found that stupid alien junk. I warned them not to mess with that crap. But what do they do? They tie me up and they take it to the Calypso Twins. Not cool, bro. Z well, we should probably get out of here before the COV come back. So, where are Lilith and the Raiders hanging these days? Former COV propaganda center. It's, uh, under new management. I killed them all. Now we're talking! Come on, let's get out of here. I'll lead the way, even though I'm totally unarmed. Can't let them know you're afraid and totally defenseless, bro. Bandit life! You have to admit, Vaughn... So, you took over that was smart. propaganda center all by your little self? They have me outnumbered, 20 to 1. Bad odds for them. I am impressed. Oh man, the children of the vault totally trashed my camp! Like, that is not where that bloody skull should be! It is completely ruining the vibe! Oh, I know a shortcut! This way! Gag Central, am I right? You know, I'm gonna let you take care of him. The only thing I'm packing right now is not something I'm gonna use on a skag. That man is dangerous! Get him! It's a fight. won't stop until every bandit on Pandora worships them like gods. P bandits don't need gods. We worship a hot fire and a charred piece of meat. There are rules. Well, we always wonder what the bandits <laughs> apparently worshipped, and now we know. I'm sure Lilith will be glad to see me. We're tight, bro. Super tight. Like, bro tight. It's a thing. <laughs> I'm not even going to argue with Vaughn. Pandora's in trouble. Feel it in my bones. Or maybe that's just the harsh desert wind in my bare sun dappled chest. Just gonna keep adding to that skill. Oh, sweet digs! Fortified, well ventilated. You know, throw some bloody skulls up on the walls. You got yourself a nice, cozy place here, friend. Vaughn? What the hell are you doing here? Hey, a Lilith! Former war chief of the Sun Smashers reporting for duty! <laughs> Go, Crimson Raiders! It's good to see you, Vaughn. The Raiders will take all the help we can get. So, Vault Hunter, did you find the map? The map was gone. But I picked myself up a bandit souvenir. Map? 
Uh, if you're talking about that alien junk, my clan is bringing it to the Calypso Twins as an offering. They're heading to the Holy Broadcast Center. It's where the Calypsos host murder sermons to amp up their followers. Can't let the Calypsos get that map. The Holy Broadcast Center is a long ride. Vault Hunter, you're gonna need some wheels. My friend Ellie runs the catch a ride. Go introduce yourself, and she'll hook you up. Let's go find Ellie. I think you now see you see why I'm actually playing uh, a Zane just because he's he's funny. I got a job for you. Please help me. Recruit. You have to help me. I I lost my antenna. <laughs> This is an opportunity, Boyo. I can help you freshen up your look. Yes! I'm gonna be bigger and better than ever! But this is an important fashion decision. Bring me replacement antenna options, recruit! Options, I say! Go for it! Even though finding me a new antenna is vitally important, you can do this mission on the side. And you'll probably want to get a vehicle for this one. I wonder. Darn. Vaughn, what the hell? You knew I've been looking for that map. Why didn't you bring it to me? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, okay, I see what happened here. Let me explain. Uh, I let the map slip into the hands of culty psychopaths, and now the whole galaxy's in danger. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <sighs> okay, same page. You know what this calls for? Apology push-ups. Oh yeah, I did forget that they actually added in a new thing called where you can actually just hit one little button and it will reload all of your ammo. Now remind me, what'd you say you was gonna do to my gal pal Lil? God Queen Tyrene will drink soup from the skull of the great heretic! My bad, finger slipped. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Desert Rose Thorn for rockets. I heard y'all were in the neighborhood. Good to see old Lil found some new blood. I'm Ellie. Hey, what are you staring at, hon? You're a natural with that rocket launcher. My kind of girl. Ain't you a heartbreaker? Lil said you was looking for a vehicle. Damn cultist stole all mine. Mind stealing me one back? Then I'll set you up with a catch a ride. And thanks for coming by. So if you've never, or if you haven't played Borderlands uh, 2 and the Tales of the Borderlands, um, if you remember in like the other Borderlands games, the one who ran the catch a ride, was Scooter. At the end of Scooter, at the end of the uh, Borderlands Telltale, Scooter sacrifices himself, and that's when Ellie takes over. Go. My favorite smell. What's wrong, Sir William? I get it now. We're all just junk. Don't say I didn't warn you. Trouble grabbing bandit attention. 
I'd start the show with a bare ham hock. Then they'd get the bare knuckle encore. Bang! It ends in silence! Huh. He lost an arm. He lost a leg. He lost everything. So what I actually, what they did, I actually like is called, uh, where you can hijack. I'm gonna go with this one just because it's looks nice. Oh, there's Angel, Hyperion, Torque. I like. Oh, I'm gonna go with Ellie. Show. Her brother Troy runs the cult's propaganda. P.S. They both suck. Just saying. 
Dump trucks in the neighborhood. I can practically smell a son bitch. Look around, VH. Friggin' Harrison. I'm the fake. I'm the fake. Look at the stadium! There we go. Come here, you filthy heretic! You got a death wish? Wish granted. Uh, I must have got any others that I can use, because the shield's good, but it's kind of like low leveled. Ninety nine, ninety one. I cannot wait for backpack upgrades. <laughs> I don't really have anything that's better than... Oh, that's a 7. That's 8. Switch to that for now. Double barrel pistol. Yeah, that'll work. It's actually what I like, so... There we go. I thought I just upgraded. Did I not upgrade that? Yeah, I upgraded it. Okay. I mean, if I wasn't playing solo, I probably would end up have done a barrier build. But the good thing is, if you're playing with friends, it does tell you... Or if you're playing the game, it does tell you about what your friends are doing. Like, as you saw... Uh, a pop-up came up saying that one of my friends had actually gotten... had done something, so... It's kinda nice. Let's get to work! Just give up! Piss in!
you'll have to really search them out. But it's worth it. Thanks for taking care of that dump truck situation, sweet thing. Oh, and this is for adding insult to injury. Shooting dump truck in the old dairy air like that. So she gave me an extra gun. Yeah, this one. Uh, the three six. Yeah, let's actually try it. It does drop my other one down a bit. We'll try. We'll test it out and see how it goes. Plus, if you want to find uh, extra colors of, or find more colors for your get your rides, all you have to do is just literally find a vehicle that you don't have, hijack it, take it to get your ride, and you'll unlock that color. Just the heads up. Honestly, I'm enjoying playing with him as Zane. down there. Scarce I'll come back later. Ah. 
It wasn't the brightest skag pup. Uh, what was that drop I got though? Um, clear plastic ice. Uh, Ecotheme. So yeah, like right now I'm using, I think the red one? Yeah, I'm using the dull version. Uh, I'm switching back on off because I really don't like it. I'd rather use, okay, if I had a choice I'd honestly just keep with my one I was using. But this one is a green one, so it's better. It's a good one. Oh, wait, wait. What's the damage? What's the damage? 22, yeah, that's actually really good. That's a COV echo transponder. Who knows what kind of nefarious broadcast they might be sending with that thing. Climb up there and destroy it. Thank you, Lord. I've been looking for a sniper and I finally got one. Thank you, oh, powerful fire and apparently charred meat. This is a nice one. Let's take a closer look at this bad boy. Right, what was it? Inspect. Oh, that that's a nice one. That is a very nice. Oh, I have I have oh yeah, I forgot I got a bunch of skins for these. So I could do gold if I wanted to. I could do this butt stallion. <laughs> I kinda wanna do the gearbox one just because it looks very nice I mean look at that that is that's a very nice looking gun now I think I can actually do it to these as well no so I can only do it to guns
Uh, let's see, where do I need to go? Um, okay, so it's actually down here. And yeah, I know I'm switching stuff out a lot. Um, it's more so that way I'm not dying as much. Or I don't have a chance of dying. <laughs> uh, what's my time? What's my time at? Um, yeah, I can do a little bit more. I will say that this quest that I'm working on, Bad Reception, is kind of a long one. But we need to go this way, so we're going to head into this area. A nice one. Ah, look at you, a proper gentleman and everything. What's the catch? Fear not, friend. I am keeping the voices at bay with this mighty cap atop my head. I'm gonna need that mighty cap. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly part with it. Not right now. You'll have to destroy the mind control transmission dishes first. They're beaming voices into my brain. You heard the man. Destroy those transmission dishes. I need that hat! Uh, I can feel the mind control releasing its hold! Ow. Oof. So that I can finally be free of the voices!
comes for us all. You first. Ooh, a chubby skag. Money and iridium. I'm carrying too much stuff. Let's see. Uh, drop. 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 Drop.
Well, she can survive quite a bit. I think she survived like two, gr like two or three grenades, like beside her head, and she—that's kind of a shock. I'll take that. Hey, over here! Ah, eh, wrong button. I'm used to the. I'm still used to like a lot of the old controls. Yeah, like, see, I want this, so I'm gonna take this color. Anybody order a put? So I've gotten new parts for mine. Which was this one, Children of the Vaults.
So apparently I just found this and I don't know how to open it. So I'm guessing I'll have to come back here later and open that. Seriously shooting mine? Oh no, they're shooting that. So, uh, if you don't know how to do the ground pound, it was actually introduced in the pre-sequel, I believe. And all you gotta do is just jump and hit your crouch button, which is... If you're playing on PS4, it's circle. And it makes it... Where you just kinda, like, slam down... I've used it, I think, once or twice on an enemy, but it was more of... I didn't know how well it was gonna work.
Now the fun part, finding that alpha. <laughs> but I'm gonna go over here and see if I can grab any ammo. Another sniper rifle. Why am I finding so many sniper rifles in this playthrough? And I barely found any when I was for mine. Let's see, do I have a better s weapon than my shotgun? Because I kind of don't want to use my shotgun anymore. Uh, could be easy not. Is this one? Yeah. No, actually, it's not. Mine's better, but that one's got a better zoom. Alright, I think we're gonna finish. We're gonna return these items to Claptrap and then we're gonna call it on this one. And then the next one we'll switch. We'll go and uh, take out Mincemeat. <laughs> So we have option number one. Oh, go to hangar. I, I think I'm picking up some radio broadcasts on this thing. Option number two, a fork. Now when people tell me to go fork myself, I can say I already did. And now I've got shade wherever I go. 
Shiny cap for a shiny clap! Hot damn, I look fancy! Can't go wrong with classic style! So, I'm actually gonna probably end up going with uh, this one. Fantastic! Jealous? I bet you are. Just because it makes him look stupid. See, mine's 34. 28. 28. For more fantastic deals. Don't spend it all in one place, except right here. Your business is always appreciated. Alright, so I'm gonna switch out my Echo just because I want to take a look and see what other stuff I've unlocked with, with it, because I think I got one more other thing, but I want to just double check. <laughs> and pick up this quest for later. Spawn Bio! Know anything about these little COV statues? Ugh, the children of the vault have been leaving these suck butt COB statues all over the place. You know what? We're gonna stick it to those wannabe gods and make our own idols. In my image, yeah, good idea. From chiseled jaw to legendary calves. First off, go find all my wanted posters. P.S. I am very wanted. We're gonna pull this off. We're gonna need those pictures of me to feed into the 3D scanner thing. Then we can start printing out the statues that look like me instead. Haha. <laughs> That'll really tick off the Calypsos. I didn't go from a Hyperion accountant to bandit war chief just to follow orders again. But, you know, after I refused to join that stupid cult, Tyreen Calypso put a bounty on my sculpted ass. And the rest of me, too. But I'm still alive, baby! And I'm still shaking it, bro! Alright. So I'm actually gonna end this here. Um. And the next one will probably sit there and do the last of the succulent quest. Um, which probably won't take very long, because it's just like two fights. It's three fights, and then I just gotta drop some stuff off. And then we will continue the mission, which is go to uh, the broadcast area and also do Vaughn's little quest. But I hope you guys actually are enjoying... Um, I'm probably going to do a couple of these, like, longer videos, um, at least, like, once a week, or once or twice a week, depending on how my schedule can work with it, but I hope you guys actually enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Um, also, let me know what character you are playing in your version of Borderlands 3. Um, so, I went... Before I end this, though, I do want to sit there and give my thoughts on the game so far. I have to admit, I do... I like the game. It's an amazingly well-done game. It's fun. Uh, the only thing I've had a little bit of issue with is some of the motion... Or some of the movement tracking, but that maybe because I, have, I haven't, like, messed with the sensitivity in the game yet. But I do like that every character, um, it's a different, like, a little bit of a playthrough just because of how their, like, stuff is, wor like, they word stuff. And the fact that I like that you can actually 
play with like a group of people or at least like two of the people who are playing the same exact character but one can have like if I'm playing Zane and I've got two friends who are each playing Zane as well we can have a Zane doing Digiclone one doing Barrier and one doing the his uh, the drone so it's like we could be kind of mix matching our stuff and be working in a better unison team and I like that idea um but that's I mean it's, I'm still in the beginning of the game so I haven't got to see what else is out there and this I'm still on Pandora um, but I hope you guys actually enjoyed please leave a like subscribe and comment if you guys haven't already done that and I will see you guys in my next video I'm saying God aka zero saying stay frosty good and bye